Kia ora. Uh, actually, uh, usually when I go to the festival or to the events, I don't like to talk about myself. And people expect that I talk about myself and my story. Uh, because uh, uh, what I have done and what I am doing is not about myself. It's about others or it's about uh, discourse. Uh, I am a writer and I work about the refugees, uh, marginalized people, minorities, and indigenous people and indigenous resistance. Uh, my work mostly uh, is in Australia and also in Iran. But in New Zealand, since I arrived here, I came here last year, uh, just I have been a part of the festivals or conferences or in the universities, so that was the only thing that I uh, have done in New Zealand. But most of my work uh, is in Australia and uh, uh, Iran. But I think today is, I should talk about my story a little bit because the places that I go, people already know my works or they read my work or uh, that's why I don't need to explain about the story and the, actually the context uh, that I uh, raised and I work. Uh, I'm Kurdish. I'm uh, uh, from Iran. So in uh, Kurdistan is a land which is, I call it, uh, colonized by the Iranian system and some uh, other countries in uh, Middle East. Uh, the Kurdish language, uh, alongside uh, like six or seven languages in Iran, are uh, actually marginalized and are not formal languages. The only formal language in Iran is uh, Farsi. So that was my actually issue uh, in Iran. So I, with some of my friends and colleagues, we started to publish a magazine to educate uh, people how to respect their own language and also to uh, challenge the system, force the system to recognize the, uh, our rights. Uh, so after a while, uh, they actually arrested some of my colleagues, so they jailed them, and I had to leave Iran. So I fled Iran. I went to Indonesia, and after that, I went to Australia by boat. So when I arrived in Australia, uh, it was on 23 July 2013. And when I arrived, they said that we just announced a policy to banish any refugee, anyone who come to Australia by boat to uh, Manus Island and Nauru Island in the middle of Pacific Ocean, uh, in north of Papua New Guinea. So just in nine hours, I found myself in a prison in Manus Island. So I was there for six years, and just last year I came to New Zealand. Uh, so in Manus Island, actually, that was another colonialism system. The policy towards the refugees in Australia is established on based of uh, colonialism mentality and history of colonialism in Australia. So that was a different system with the system in Iran, but the same mentality. And uh, so in Manus Island, I started to write about that system, to expose that system. 
not only make people aware of that system, but uh, analyze the system and uh, that policy. Uh, so now that I came to New Zealand, I see another system. I see, but I see a country with the history of colonialism. But the good thing about New Zealand that I see is uh, we see the process of decolonization in this country. So it takes time for me to really understand the different layers of the colonialism mentality and system in New Zealand. But at least I see that we have a process of decolonization, not for everyone, but at least a part of the society try to understand it or is a part of it. So that is, I think, very uh, important because what I am going to say is the, how the refugees, how migrants, how marginalized people, how the minorities in the society can be a part of this uh, process of decolonization. How can we use them? How they are a great capacity. So I say that because of my work in Australia. In Australia, uh, over the past year, we have been, uh, with my colleagues, we have been working on a journal that this journal we publish the uh, works by the refugees and alongside the indigenous writers. So that journal is going to, uh, just we did it, so it will publish very soon. Another project that we did is a play, which I work with the Australian indigenous uh, actors and artists, and hopefully we uh, bring the play to uh, New Zealand next year. Last year, we had an exhibition in the National Gallery here. So I mean, these works are, thing, are important that we uh, take them and invite them and bring them to New Zealand to see that already in Australia, we created a connection, a good connection and a strong connection between the migrants and uh, refugees with the indigenous resistance in that country, which in New Zealand I feel is not a very strong connection. So that is the point I want to say, that I think in New Zealand we need to, uh, I mean, work together, we need to, we shouldn't be isolated from each other. The migrants, the refugees community with uh, Maori community and also other minorities. So I think uh, being a minority in this world, it can be a value because we, uh, understand politic, we understand political structure in a quite a special way because we have been a uh, victim under this power structure. So that is the thing that uh, uh, since I have been here and in Wellington, uh, I'm based in Christchurch, but uh, I'm trying to work with uh, people to create more a network and connection. So that is what I want to say today. That is on based of my uh, experience that we minorities, we marginalized people, we understand each other better, so we should work together. And that's why I think that we are powerful enough to create change. Um, that change is creating the, actually, challenge the power structure. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.